Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we have small bowel ultrasound. The gastrointestinal tract has five distinct layers. The innermost layer is mucosa. It is hyperechoic. The second layer is the deep mucosa or muscularis mucosa. It is hypoechoic. The third thicker hyperechoic layer is submucosa and deeper to that is muscularis propria the fourth layer which is hypoechoic and finally the outermost fifth layer is serosa it is hyperechoic we may not always see all five layers as they can be compressed by the probe or the nearby mesenteric fat or if they are filled with fluid or intraluminal contents. Here is a water filled stomach. The stomach and the intestines layers have the same appearance on ultrasound. Enteritis is an infection of the small bowel. On ultrasound, the bowel wall thickness will be increased due to inflammation. It will be greater than 3 millimeters. Here we have an image of small bowel obstruction. This is the normal bowel with all five distinct layers. The diameter will be more than 3 centimeters. We will also see the small bowel folds. They will become visible in case of obstruction, and the wall thickness may also be greater than 3 millimeters. Another feature of obstruction is the to and fro appearance of intraluminal contents. In the live video, you will see these contents moving back and forth inside the bowel in bowel obstruction. Absence of peristaltic movements may also be seen in some cases. Extraluminal fluid may also be seen in some cases of obstruction. Fluid will be visualized outside the bowel and is found between neighboring bowel loops. It is triangular in shape and this fluid collection is called the Tenga sign. Intramural gas is another feature of obstruction. Gas is found within bowel wall. It will appear hyperechoic and has dirty posterior shadowing. Gray shadowing is seen posterior to the gas. Here is a transverse view of intramural gas. You can see it much better in this view. Gas is found within the walls and here is the bowel lumen. This is also called nematosis intestinalis. Intersusception occurs when a part of the bowel is pulled into itself or into a nearby loop due to peristalsis. On ultrasound, a target sign is seen. There will be alternating hyperechoic and hypoechoic bands. The hyperechoic bands are formed by mucosa and muscularis layers. The normal submucosa is supposed to be hyperechoic, but in this case, it is hypoechoic. The outermost serosal layer is very thick. And normally this layer is supposed to be hyperechoic, but here it is hypoechoic. The serosal layer appearance is easier to see as compared to the inner layers like submucosa. A pseudo kidney sign is another feature of intersusception. You will see that the intersuscepted part of the bowel will look like a kidney in the longitudinal view. These hyperechoic areas are fat filled mesentery and the outer hypoechoic layer is the edematous part of the bowel. Crescent in a donut sign can be seen in transverse plane. There are alternating hyperechoic and hypoechoic bands seen on one side and a crescentic shaped hyperechoic structure 
made of mesenteric fat on the other side. Midgut volvulus occurs from malrotation of the bowel. It can cause obstruction and ischemia. A whirlpool sign can be seen with dilated duodenum and thickened bowel walls. Crohn's disease, which is also known as regional enteritis, is a GIT inflammation that mostly affects terminal ileum and proximal colon. These images are of ileum and here we can see thick bowel walls. The thickness is greater than 3 mm. Loss of wall stratification will also be seen. We are unable to identify any layer of the bowel. This hyperechoic structure is gas and there is some shadowing as well. Here is a transverse view showing loss of wall stratification. No layers are identified and there is gas in the lumen of ileum. On color Doppler, excess blood flow or hyperemia is found in bowel walls. Normally, no flow will be seen in the bowel walls on color Doppler. In this image, we can see fibro fatty proliferation, which appears as a hyperechoic layer outside the bowel wall. This is due to inflammation. Limburg score is used to assess bowel vascularity with the help of Doppler ultrasound. Grade 0 is given to a normal healthy bowel. There is normal wall thickness. We can identify the layers and there is no blood flow seen within the wall on color Doppler. In grade 1, wall thickening will be present. Due to this thickening, there is partial loss of mural stratification. No blood flow is found within the walls. Limburg score grade 2 is given when some blood flow is noted within bowel wall. It is termed hypoflow. Along with that, there is bowel wall thickening. A grade 3 Limburg score will have a large amount of vascular flow found on color Doppler. This is termed hyperflow. In a Limburg score grade 4, blood flow within mesenteric fat will be found along with bowel wall hyperemia. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.